Okay, uh, so now we're going to, after having had added the navigation links here, you can see them in blue, we're going to have a little look at style sheets and how to use style sheets to format your text, maybe add a little color, see how we go. Now the first thing to understand with the style sheets is you really must understand that this page is created uh, by uh, using HTML code. So in the backgrounds, this is the code that's created. Now you don't have to understand fully the code, but you do need to appreciate that Dreamweaver will create your code. So if we go back to the design view, as promised, I will stick to design view in this. What we're going to do now is we need to decide, okay, what's going to change all of our um, the text on our page, and that is down here, the body tag. So this is our quick tag selector, they call this down here. So if you click on body, notice the whole page changes. And if I just quickly swap into code view, you notice you see everything within the body tags is selected. So clicking on the body basically allows that to happen. So you can see that's gone up in blue there. So what we're going to do is going to add a new selector. So over to the selectors point over here, let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see. So you can see this little selector section here. That's good. Let's zoom out again. Okay, we're going to click on plus. Notice body appears just there. Just going to press enter to make sure it goes in. And there's the body selector. So anything we apply to this selector, to this body tag, will affect the whole page. That being the case, I'm just going to take the opportunity to drag this to the top so its body appears, so that body appears at the top. And in that way, it will affect everything on the page. Plus, it's, it makes logic, is it logical for the stacking order? So we can see this body there. Now, what we're going to do is down here in the properties is where we would adjust or the different ways we want to see the body to look, basically, or different things within the body we want to change. The first thing I'm interested in is text. So if you click on the text button here, it takes us to the text section. Now, the default text is Times New Roman. You can see Times New Roman here. It automatically comes up there as the default text. So we're going to change that. So where the font family is, I'm going to click on where it says default uh, font. And I'm going to go up, and I've got a, a lot of them there. Now, if you can't see the font that you want here, you can go to Manage Fonts. Uh, and here's loads of these fonts. There's absolutely tons of these ones here. You can make your own ones up. Or you can go to Custom Font Stacks, where you can make your own font lists here. Now, the thing about fonts on the web is if, uh, as a general rule, up to CSS2, if the font doesn't exist on your user's computer, they won't see it. So if you choose some fancy font down here, such as Bleeding Cowboys, they're not going to see that because they don't have Bleeding Cowboys on their computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one uh, called Arial. So um, let's have a look. Oh, Vidana. I'll do Vidana. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. So I'm going to click on Vidana, click on this button, and it brings it across. You see it adds it at the bottom. What happens if they don't have Vidana? Well, then you could choose a substitute font if you want to, an alternative. And the alternative I'm going to choose is Arial. There we go. So I'm going to bring that about. There we go. So I've got Vidana and Arial at the bottom there. That's good. So that's good. So I'm just going to drag that up so you can see there's a done bottom at the uh, done button at the bottom. You, know, you can't see it just there. So if you just click on done, there's a button at the bottom there. You can do that. Good, excellent. So now back to our default fonts. Here's our Vedana Arial. I give it a click and notice all of my page changes to Vedana. Uh, if it didn't have Vedana, it'd go then to Arial. So there's lots uh, to do here. The other thing we're just going to show you is that actually you can use the body selector to change the background color of the page. Uh, so what we're going to do there is just click on the, the button here that says background, it takes you to the background section. I'm going to choose background color and I'm going to be boring here and go for a, just a very sort of off sort of brownish grayish color uh, here. In fact, if I uh, can I drag that? No, I can't. Uh, move that about. No. Okay. So what I'm going to just do is just choose a grey sort of colour here and press Enter to finish. Now you can see the colour appears. In fact, it appears across all of it. And the last thing I'm just going to do is, uh, it's just the main this bit of the page here. The main bit of the page I want to be white. So I want the background colour this or sort of pinky grey or purpley grey. But the main background I want white. So I'm going to choose that on main wrapper. So if you click on main wrapper, that's good. Go to the background color here, 
and we'll choose white by just clicking and it's quite difficult but you click and drag up to the top left hand corner okay press enter when finished and you notice the background colors of the page there is white also note that the only thing we have changed is our style sheet so note here main style dot css has an asterisk at the top there so if we go to file and save uh, all I don't know which saves all the file and let's have a look and see how it looks in the browser if we go to preview in browser google chrome hey presto there we go so we've got our banner grayish background fonts looking good navigation bar okay we can maybe adjust the colors a little bit but it's starting to look a bit more like a web page for more training videos then please see www.computertutoring.co.uk uh, if you're watching this on youtube that is and and stay tuned for more how to create dreamweaver uh, a website from scratch using Dreamweaver videos.